Good morning. I'm Jason Bickford. I'm the research manager at NSWC Port Wanimi. Uh, so at any given point in time, there are hundreds of government engineers and technicians flying around the world to get on ships and help them troubleshoot and maintain equipment to maintain warfighting capability. That drives a significant cost and degrades the readiness uh, of our operational assets. So uh, we at, at NAVC are making significant investments into remote collaboration tools that can help virtually put a subject matter expert in the same space virtually as a shipboard maintainer to help troubleshoot and maintain and get systems back online as fast as possible. Uh, and it can have a significant improvement on both readiness and cost. Good morning, my name is Ryan Bowersock. I am the Creative Lab Lead at NOC AD Lakehurst. Uh, in our lab we do augmented reality and virtual reality research and development. In that lab we've developed ARMS, the Augmented Reality Remote Maintenance Support Service, and we've begun to collaborate with NAVC uh, as partners because we recognize that across the Navy this will be a useful tool. Uh, so in FY23 we're having a short deployment that's paid for uh, by NAVC, and then in FY25, uh, NAVAIR will be taken on uh, as a partner uh, to deploy in the future. Good morning, my name is Aristides Stakos. I am the lead augmented reality uh, developer for the Creative Lab out of NOC AD Lakers. Uh, to kind of show you an example of um, what I've been developing with ARMS, uh, we're leveraging the Microsoft HoloLens 2 as an augmented reality headset uh, where a maintainer would typically be wearing one of these devices and as they're deployed out on a ship trying to troubleshoot any uh, issues or problems with uh, various types of equipment, uh, they'll be able to use this headset to remotely call a subject matter expert uh, no matter where they are, interconnected over the Navy afloat network and be able to show and speak with the maintainer in real time. So it'll leverage the photo video camera on the headset as well as the microphone, so they're having kind of a two-way conversation. It, at the same time, the expert can send digital content as well as uh, provide kind of guidance as the maintainer is working with their hands uh, to kind of mark out, okay, check this switch, turn this dial, and the expert could actually draw those items in the maintainer's field of view.